Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are in the world, it's time for another edition of Victory in Sight. This is God in Action Publications in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Reverend Christopher Irvin, founder, CEO, and president of this organization. And today, I've got a powerful word for you. I want you to look with me this morning into the book of Job. Job, the 38th chapter. And I want to break it down for you. Job has been going through some things. The satanic forces have tried him and he has lost almost everything except his life. And Job, in this 38th chapter, prior to this 38th chapter, is questioning God. He didn't curse God. He did not curse God. But he questioned God. He questioned God. Listen to this. The Lord's answer to Job's questioning him. Then the Lord answered Job out of a whirlwind. Out of a whirlwind. Who is this? that darkeneth counsel by words without knowledge. Gird up thy lions like a man, for I will demand of thee and answer thou me. Where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare, if thou hast understanding, who have laid up the measures thereof, if thou knowest, or have stretched the line upon it? Whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened, or laid the cornerstone thereof? When the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy, or who set up the sea with doors when it break forth as it had issued out of the womb? When I made the cloud the garment thereof and thick darkness a swaddling band for it and break it up and decreed the place, set bars and doors and said, Hitherto shalt thou come, but no further. Here shall thy proud waves be stayed. Hast thou commanded the morning since the days and caused the despairing to know its place? In other words, God is asking Job the message today. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? And that's what God asks us all from time to time when we think we're all of that. So many men and women today think they are all that. The other day I heard a man say to a woman and to some other folks, he said, do you know who I am? And I thought about this. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? None of us are above God. We all fall short of the glory of the Lord. I know that Job was going through some things and he wasn't going to curse God, but he did question God. We've got to learn our place in life. We've got to learn our place in society. We cannot question God. Who is God and God all alone? He asked this question for a reason. God has infinite knowledge of whatever you're going through. That is why he gave us the opportunity to fall on our knees and pray. That is why he gave us that opportunity. Who do you think you are? It's a powerful question. I listened to a song the other day, Mr. Big Stuff. Who do you think you are? 
When I look at some of the leadership in America and the leadership around the world who thinks they are all of that, let me tell you something. If we put ourselves on pedestals, you hear me? If you put yourself on a pedestal, it's only a matter of time before you fall. How long can you stand on a pedestal? God has blessed mankind. He has given us authority over every creature in the earth. But that's it. Mankind today has gone too far. Because of mankind attempting to be as gods, we got COVID. Because of mankind attempting to be God, we have cancer and disease, afflictions and addictions because of mankind attempting to be God. He has created all of these things and anything man created will dissipate. Everything man created, but God created the heavens and the earth. And our God is God all alone. Never think that you are big or too big and rise up over your brothers and sisters. Don't get it twisted, my brothers and sisters. We are nothing but as leaves, shafts in the wind. We are only here for a short time. Don't get it twisted. Know who you are. Don't have God ask that question of you. Who do you think you are? Don't play with his love. Don't play with God. This is serious, this thing we are in. And God is instructing Job. What you go through is nothing without me at your back. God was at his back. And because God was at his back, Job came back. Job became greater than he ever was. That's the kind of God that we serve, my brothers and sisters. He may not come when we think we want him. He may not come when we think we need him. Job needed him. He said, God, where are you in my life? And God said, don't have that audacity don't have it to question me. How dare we question God? We are the children of God. We look up to our Father in heaven and we ask him for blessings and through his mercy and his grace, we are here today. You hear me? Because of his grace and his mercy, we've come this far. Continue to trust in the Lord, but never question God. If you do, he will come to you in a whirlwind and ask you too, who do you think you are? Let us pray that God continues to surround us with love. Let us pray that he continue to gift us, knowing that we are nothing by ourselves alone. But with God, we are everything. With God at our side, we can do all things. But by ourselves alone, we can do nothing. Don't have God ask that question of you. Who do you think you are? Let go. Let God. Let go, let God, and he's going to take you places you never thought you could go. Let us pray. Father God, as we come this morning, this afternoon, our brothers and our sisters around the world, we come, Father, because thou art Alpha and Omega, thou art the beginning and the end, thou art the creator of all things, Thou art God and God alone. Father God, we come this morning to lift your holy name, for you said it in your word. If I be lifted up, 
I will draw all men, all women unto me. We come to lift you this morning, Father. We come to give you honor, glory, and praise for you and you alone are worthy. Someone is going through something within the sound of my voice. Father, someone has a cancer, an illness, a sickness. Someone is going through something in their family with their finances. We ask that you touch. We ask that you heal. We ask that you deliver right now. We feel your presence, Father, in our lives, and we thank you. We thank you for walking with us and talking with us when no one else is there. We ask that you continue to be in our lives, Father, and help us to know that through you, we can do all things. We come this morning, Father, claiming victory in the powerful name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. And we claim it right now with an amen, amen, and amen. I pray that you prayed that prayer with me, knowing that through God, we can do all things. Don't have God ask you who you, you think you are. Know who you are, a child of God. Know that, claim that, and until next week, keep the victory inside. The reason that I have written Victory Inside is because I believe that once you accept Jesus Christ in your life, you are victorious. And I compare being a Christian today with being an athlete. You see, because athletes must condition and train their bodies constantly, day in and day out. They must focus mentally as well as physically. And this is the same thing that Christians must do. But when we do that, truly we see victory in sight. The first poem tonight is entitled, I Shall Give and Follow. I shall give to my Lord my all in all. And then I shall wait to hear his call. If I give all I've got, I can never fail. For when I deal with my father, my ship is sure to sail. My strength is great. I am not weak. And as I walk with the Lord, I walk at my peak. I am built of stone. No evil can break. I shall never be broken. My Lord, I shall never forsake. He has given me hope to bear each hour. He has given me strength, given me power. As I walk in his steps, others shall follow. His powers are strong, his waters not shallow. And never has his love for mankind ever been hollow. To my Lord, my God, I shall give and follow.